how to view Atom scores on Active Pulse. You're going to navigate to Scores and Reports and drop down to Active Pulse Math. From here, you have filtering options to view other classes that you may have created. Right now, I'm looking at my third grade math class. And this screen will help you uh, see the overall summary scores for each of the strands under the Atom assessment. Right now, I'm on the Summary tab. So you can see that here, there's tabs listed across the top. This is organized with first name, last name, grade, test log, progress monitoring are always available, last assessed, total score, and the strands listed here above. If you ever have a question on any of the columns, you simply hover over and see the title for that strand. So for example, right now, I'm looking at geometry scores. We are viewing grade level scores on this page. So that can really help you frame, you know, where students are along the continuum, especially right now I'm looking at a third grade class, mid-year third grade, so I can see those strand scores, those overarching strand scores um, in relation to their grade level. Now, as you're viewing this data and throughout the Let's Go Learn system, you can always make modifications to your screen. So if you know all of your students are third grade, I'm over here on the left hand side, I might remove that column. So I have a little bit more space now to view just the data I'd like to see. You can also add that back and it will stay sticky so that as you're navigating to different classes, you can view the same data. On this screen, you also have the ability on the right-hand side of each column to sort. So if I wanna view numbers and operations, I can quickly sort from low to high to now see my class displayed with those grade level scores in order here for numbers and operations. So that's always something you can do. You can also filter on any of those columns that have the little arrows to the right-hand side. I can also sort it the other way, so I can see high to low. I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to alphabetize by last name, so you can see that sorted here. Now, the wonderful thing about Atom is that it's incredibly detailed. So we're going to go back to the tabs here across the top, and I want to show you how you're going to get into more of the data. So in additional videos, we will talk about um, these reports that are available and the reports in the middle of the screen. So just know that those are there and you're always able to dive into the scores in more detail. I'm gonna show you how to do that from this screen. So I'm on the summary tab here on the left. I'm gonna drop into numbers and operations. Now you'll see similar functionality. Here, if I hover over any of these, I can actually remove them right, and add them back as needed. The same organization, first name, last name, grade, I can always view test log and progress monitoring. But now all the individual subtests that make up numbers and operations are open and available for me to view for my entire class. So again, if I want to hover over to see any of the subtest title, I do that here. So right now I'm viewing place value. I have the same features. Right now I'm looking at grade level scores. I can quickly sort if I'd like to, so I can highlight different student names, and then I can always switch it back by last name. Okay, so you're able to view this here and always identify the subtests for each of the strands. So you have this available to you under every major strand. So I'm gonna come back here over at the top. Let's pop over to measurement. Now you're gonna see money, time, temperature, length, all of those titles listed here, along with those grade level scores, indicating how students are progressing along the scope and sequence of each of the subtests. So remember, these are your most recent scores. So these are your active pulse scores. If you are using formative assessments or uh, you know those skills and subtest uh, measures, you're gonna see their most recent scores here. Also your most recent assessment data. So I'm gonna pop back to the summary score. Again, those overarching strand scores. Here's where you'll keep track of all progress monitoring and previous tests. 
all of that data remains with the student as well. Okay, again, to view Active Pulse scores here for the Atom Assessment, you're going to drop down to Active Pulse Math. The Atom Assessment Summary is your first tab you'll land on, and then you navigate to any of the strands listed here. Algebra 1 is a separate assessment, and Pre-Algebra is a separate assessment. So if you have those, um, those will be in additional videos where we'll go into that. But all of the strands that make up Adam are listed here, your first strands that are available to you. Okay, thank you.